What is up, guys? DJ Eastwood here. This is Run It Back. As always, hit that subscribe button if you like talking Philly sports every day because that's what I do. What's up, guys? How you doing, man? Hope you're having a good day. Um, ahead of the Sixers game tonight, I'm about to go do a live stream during the game, so you might see this video after that or something like that. I just wanted to talk about something really quick. I was watching the Mike Missanelli show, and uh, they were talking about an interesting topic and uh, I actually like to watch that show and I like to watch other sports shows because I like to get insight and in things from people that do this professionally. And it's really cool actually to see all of the ways that my opinions kind of line up. It seems like most people with basketball knowledge and sports knowledge and everything are in line mostly with how I think. So that makes me feel good about myself and my opinions. But anyway... They were talking about if you would trade Ben Simmons, who would you trade him for? What players would you say yes to and what players would you say no to? And it was it was pretty interesting and I wanted to give my opinion on it. Um, so the first one Mike said was Damian Lillard. He asked Ty, would you trade Ben Simmons straight up right now for Damian Lillard? And Ty said no. Now, come on, man. Ty, come on, bro. Ty, you've replied to me on Twitter before. You might stumble across my YouTube videos. Who knows, man? I'm talking to you. There's no way in hell you would not trade Ben Simmons for Damian Lillard right now. A absolutely, yes, you would. Don't say that. Um, He said he would trade him for Bradley Beal. Oh, bro. So you'd say no to Damian Lillard and yes to Bradley Beal? Come on, man. Um, he said he would trade him straight up for Luka Doncic, obviously, because who the hell wouldn't do that? Uh, there's a couple players that I probably wouldn't do, do it with. Uh, Devin Booker, he said yes to. I would say no to Devin Booker trade for Ben Simmons simply because my main concern with this team and what I want the most on this team is is a traditional point guard. I want a point guard that can space the floor, that can make everybody's job easier. That's what I want. So if if you're talking about trading Ben for Devin Booker, like, yeah, high-volume shooter, good scorer, but eh, does he make everybody better? No, not really. The Suns, have they been good the past couple years? Like, you know what I mean? Ben Simmons at least makes the team better by himself, even with his deficiencies which are self-imposed and I'm not going to stop talking about it because he finished the Mavs game with 11 entire points in the whole game he didn't score a single point in the second half I can't figure this guy out I can't figure this team out but again I know there's going to be trolls in the comments I'm going to start ignoring these guys because I can't keep responding to nonsense um, I know you guys that really mess with me and and really enjoy my channel you don't have to agree with everything I say, by the way. You know what I mean? That's how this thing works. I just get on here and tell you what I think. You can respectfully hit the comments and be like, hey, man, I disagree, and this is why. Like, you don't have to freak out and lose your mind because I said something that you don't necessarily agree with. Anyway, let's get back to it. I wouldn't trade Ben right now. I'm not stupid. Uh, my main frustrations with Ben Simmons is the fact that I know what he is supposed to be. I know what his potential was when he was drafted. I know what his potential still is right now. I just want him to be that good, and he's not doing it, and he's he's holding himself back. See, <clears throat> the people, excuse me, I, I've been sick for like three days. The the Ben stands, as I call them, the people that are just in love with the guy and will not. I mean, it's just blatant denial. They will not accept any slander because they just like the guy that much. Like that's, and they refuse to be wrong. The, it's typical. That's that's basic denial, especially when they when you point out deficiencies and people respond with other things that he does well. That's what basic denial is. You're literally ignoring the point that people are making and you're dragging another topic into it to try to balance it out. Well, yeah, he doesn't score points, but he plays world-class defense and leads the league in steals. 
That's not why you drafted the guy, bro. I'm not saying that's not a good thing. He's a freakish athlete. Of course he's a, a high steel guy and great defense. He's 6'10 and can move as fast as every guard in the NBA or faster. That's great. I'm not saying that's not great. My point on Ben Simmons always is that if you looked at the 2016 draft and you said, what do we want in this draft? We have the number one pick. We're going to take this guy who's not going to be a scoring threat ever, but he's going to lead the league in steals and he's going to be a very good passer. That's not a number one player. That's not somebody you draft number one. There's no way you go to a draft trying to draft the steals leader. Dude, you, you're trying to draft a transcendent talent that's going to be an NBA superstar that's going to change your franchise for the next 15 years. So anyway, I wouldn't do the Devin. Oh, I wouldn't trade him straight up for Devin Booker because I don't think Devin Booker makes you that much better. Uh, Damian Lillard, I would trade him for right now. Absolutely. I just that's maybe a personal bias. I've, I love Damian Lillard's game. I would love Damian Lillard on this team. Dame's never had a center like him beat around. Um, I just think the whole thing would work better. I think it's general knowledge now that Embiid would work better with a traditional point guard and Ben Simmons would work better without Embiid in the center. Well, I thought until he scored 11 points last night, even without Embiid. But, um, yeah, I wouldn't do Devin Booker. I would do Damian Lillard straight up. Pause. Um, Bradley Beal straight up for Ben Simmons. I wouldn't do that. I don't think he makes that team that much better. Again, a good scorer. Is he a much of a facilitator does he really run a team does he really make the wizards any better than they are without him not so much um but yeah man let me know in the comments what you guys think who you would trade ben simmons straight up for if you were going to trade him it's hypothetical man everybody relax all right uh check out my live stream i'm gonna live stream and watch the sixers game tonight the other problem is is that you can't trade ben simmons because your other star player his health is always up in the air you never know what you're gonna get that's why you can't trade Ben Simmons realistically you just can't I don't think you can put all your eggs in the Embiid basket bro like I don't think you can do that he's too big and injury prone man like and I have horrible luck I have very very horrible luck like the way my luck works if I trade Ben Simmons tomorrow Joel Embiid tears his both of his ACLs three days later that's how my luck works. So we in a tough position. That's why I said the other day I would rather jump off a bridge than have to make that decision. Uh, what do you do? What do you do if it gets to the point where it's clear these guys don't work together? What do you do? You, Embiid can't stay healthy. Ben Simmons can't get out of his own head enough to do something as simple as shoot a basketball. He's a basketball player who refuses to shoot the basketball, bro. It's unbelievable. I've seen bad shooters my whole life. Guess what? They shoot the basketball. They catch it, and when they're open, they shoot it. It's basic basketball skills things, man. Like, I don't understand how you don't do that. There's horrible shooters all over the world at every playground, but they still have the basketball skill, awareness, and knowledge to catch the ball, realize they're wide open, and let it fly. Why would somebody not do that? Ugh. That's all I got, guys. DJ Eastwood, run it back. Peace.